Hello everybody, my name is Mohan Desponde, and in this video we're going to look at the Raspberry Pi. So, uh, here it is, it looks like this, and it's basically a, a microcomputer, and you know, it's a full computer, it turns out, you know, you can write documents on it, uh, manage spreadsheets, you can play games, stream videos, and you can do pretty much anything else that you could do with a regular computer, uh, but in a much, much smaller form factor. So here's, you know, some of the measurements that, uh, that I'm kind of showing here. So it, this is a small uh, computer, and so this credit card size computer has, you know, grown very recently in popularity for the Internet of Things, because it's small, cheap, and you have access to, you know, hardware components through these uh, general purpose input-output or GPIO pins there. Actually, in uh, addition to those pins, we get uh, four USB ports. Uh, we get the uh, the Ethernet that you see there. If I flip it on the side, we have uh, audio out. The uh, that's HDMI out. That's the actual power supply, just a micro USB. Uh, over uh, on on this side here, that thing is a a ribbon for a display, and then that is the ribbon for uh, a camera there. And uh, the main processor of the Raspberry Pi uh, is actually, I've kind of hidden it under that heat sink there. That's what that uh, silvery looking thing there is. And, and the heat sink basically just dissipates excess heat that's generated from running the Raspberry Pi. It dissipates that heat so that, you know, we don't actually end up damaging uh, that Pi. And actually the newer Pi 3s, which is the one I have right here, have a uh, built-in Wi-Fi and Bluetooth so that you know, we don't have to have to actually buy any adapters. You need a monitor, HDMI cable, and you know USB uh, devices, and keyboard, and mouse, and that that I'm holding here is actually the micro SD, and you'll need one of those as well. There is uh, instructions on how to actually upload the Raspberry Pi's operating system uh, on their official website. So, uh, you know, after you have this stuff, uh, we can plug in the uh, the keyboard and the mouse and uh, just connect it to uh, your monitor it'll automatically run, turn on and run when you plug in the power and just a reminder that the power is a micro USB port and uh, here is the camera module to the Raspberry Pi and instead of USB it actually uses a ribbon to uh, transfer the captured image uh, to the Pi and so to get this actually working you can uh, open up that uh, port here, this camera port here, you can just kind of open it up here and uh, put the uh, ribbon in and make sure that, see those pins on the left there, you have to make sure that the rib, the shiny part of the ribbon actually lines up, it's pointing to the left so that it actually makes connections with that. And when we close the camera port, we can uh, actually lock it in, lock it in place. So uh, that's really all there is hardware wise. Uh, regarding the Raspberry Pi and the camera module. There's some stuff that we have to do uh, software side though, so uh, why don't we uh, get to that uh, in just a second. So when we're dealing with the software side, you'll want to, you know, when you when you can put it up on, on the monitor and the display, find a, a, a terminal window and type in S U D O sudo space R A S P I C O N F I G raspy config is what uh, it looks like, and uh, you'll probably have to enter your your password uh, for the Pi. And if you notice, if you if you look uh, at this image here, there there the one of the entries there is enable camera, so you can use the arrow keys to kind of select that. And then hit enter, and that'll enable uh, the camera. And then you can you have to reboot the Raspberry Pi, actually. So you're gonna have to uh, reboot it uh, with the power settings, and then it'll it'll come back online. And at that point, that's where you know everything should be uh, everything should be golden. And so now that we have that set up, uh, we can actually move on to uh, build start. Uh, you know, working on the security camera, and, you know, any of the stuff that we you don't really you don't need a Raspberry Pi for uh, this 
this project. I just want to make that clear, you know, so you don't have to like go out and buy one immediately. Uh, and all the stuff that we will be working on will actually function just fine on, you know, like a webcam or something. But uh, I just wanted to, you know, introduce you guys to uh, to the Raspberry Pi. So now that this is all set up, we can get started uh, with our app.